In this video I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your graphics card so that your computer and games run much faster. You're going to have to download the benchmarking tools such as 3D Mark and an overclocking tool, in this case PowerStrip. Load up 3D Mark and you should see this menu. It's got your system settings in this corner here and then the test settings here which you can't change because I'm using using the free version all you have to do is click run 3d mark and then it'll give you it'll run several tests and in the end it'll give you a score now these tests are pretty boring and they do take quite a long time so go make yourself a cup of tea or anything after you've run the test you should see a score and the higher the score is, the better your computer is. In my case, it's 16,260. Just write this down so that you can compare it later on after you've overclocked your computer. Now we're going to load up PowerStrip so that we can overclock the graphics card. When you've clicked on it, go to the bottom, click Options, and then Preferences. Make sure that this setting, restore settings on startup, is not ticked so that when you reset your computer the changes don't go. Click OK, then load up, click on performance profiles, then click on configure. As you can see there are some sliders here for the engine clock which is on the left and memory clock on the right. What you should do is increase the slider by a little bit for example up by 14 on both sides and let's say up to 69 when that's done all you have to do is click apply and then yes now if you close this you could load up 3d mark again I've already got it open and click run 3D mark which will then give you another result after the test is finished you should get a result which is hopefully better than the one that you got at the start if this is the case and your result is better then you should carry on overclocking but if for some reason it's worse or it stayed the same then I'd recommend that you stop overclocking your graphics card and undo any of the changes you've made so if you want to carry on, close this, minimize this, and then go to power strip once again, performance and profiles, and then configure. And then you could push up the sliders once again. Now you could do this as much as you like, but don't increase the clock speed by more than 20% of its original value. So if my original value was 700 megahertz, then then I would increase it by more than 20% of 700, which is 140. And so the maximum I'd go to is 840. But I don't think you'd need to go that far, because it's a little bit too much, just to keep on the safe side. Now you could keep pushing it up and testing it to see if you're constantly increasing your speed. And you could also try some games out to see if they run faster. And when you've got a speed that you like, all you have to do is click save as, and then name it wherever you want. And then click OK, but I'm going to click cancel. And then it'll be up here. And this is one I've done earlier, and I've pushed it up all the way to 741 and 604. And with these results, I'm going to do another test to see how much I've improved by click OK no depth oh yeah I've got it open already then click run 3D mark once again now after you've run the test you should get a higher score and in my case I've got a much much better score compared to what I first got now you can continue overclocking this but for safety reasons I'm gonna stay like I am now because I'm happy with the increase and I think that is 
a job well done for a few minutes work now if this doesn't work for you then you can go to let me open it up you could go to guru 3d guru 3d go to downloads go to overclocking and tweaking and try an another program so I've already shown you how to use Reaper Tuner and I've shown you how to use Power Strip you could try quite a few other ones so if you've got an ATI one you could try this so you've got quite a few possibilities so you're not limited to the ones I've shown you but they're the most effective ones in my opinion so now you know how to overclock your computer.